going around downtown Kalamazoo for the Duda Parade. She, uh, and following her with the ambulance, she needed a coffee rescue. Um, old 694 is now retired. Um, unfortunately, it only lasted until I, f I officially retired it last year, so I have a new truck now. Um, in 2017, I was um, offered the option to do a uh, shop at Wing Stadium, and the idea was that it would help the seasonality of the business because food trucks in Michigan, obviously, you know, you get to winter time. What are you going to do? We do a lot of catering, things like that. Um, so this was supposed to help with the seasonality of it, and then of course COVID hit, and we had to close. When we came back to the negotiation table, we weren't able to get where we needed to be, and so I kind of learned from that that you don't always have to say yes to every opportunity, every deal. During COVID uh, downtime, I learned a few things. I learned how to roast coffee, and also learned how to flavor coffee, and um, one of the other things that I did was I opened a brick and mortar shop in Portage. And um, there's some people here that I think were able to get to the shop. Unfortunately, it did close. It was open for three years and uh, just recently closed in uh, November. And um, so I'm also here to say that you may think that food truck next opportunity would be brick and mortar. Maybe not necessarily. You, you know, give it some thought before you do it. However, my business is 11, and this is three years out of that 11-year journey. So the way I look at it is like a timeline. You know, there was eight years before that, and then now I have a new venture that I'm working on, which is Coffees for a Cause, and then I also have the food truck, which stays booked. Um, in 2019, I was able to um, go to a conference called the Hero Roundtable, which is basically like TED Talk for heroes, everyday heroes. And I met Joe Gatto, who you might recognize from the TV show Impractical Jokers. Um, he does a lot with animal rescue. And so at the time, I um, asked him if I could um, find out from him what would be good animal rescues that I could work with. Um, I did a workshop called Get Off the Bench at this um, and at this event, the Hero Roundtable, that gave me the idea that I wanted to do something philanthropic uh, with my business and actually have Coffee Rescue actually mean something and give back to the community. These are a few of the different ones that I started out with. The first one that I did with Joe was the one on the left. It's called Gatto Pups Rescue Roast. Um, he rescued a, rescues dogs. He has tons of them. He actually has a sanctuary now. When we started together, it was uh, benefiting um, his favorite place in uh, Arizona called Love Pup, which he got one of his dogs from. And it's a vanilla maple nut coffee. Basically what I've done was when I work with these different places, I've decided, discovered from them which flavors do you like, um, which organizations, nonprofits, things of that nature do you work with. So we've got um, one that goes to anti-bullying, which is the sweet cream espresso. Um, Griffin Place and Community Healing Centers, the pumpkin. And uh, Work Skills Corporation is kind of like MRC, um, where they have like an art artisan corner for people, adults with developmental disabilities. Uh, the new one uh, is Carmel to the Rescue. That's the one that I actually put my picture of my truck on. And um, it went to the Hero Roundtable, which is um, one of the ones that I just recently spoke at in November. And um, so that one's actually doing pretty well. And this is my graphic. You may have seen them. I have some over here if you, if you want to take a look at them. But it tells you where each one goes to, the flavors of the coffee, and basically $1 from each bag or box, because I do K-Cups as well, goes to these different organizations. And so far, as we mentioned earlier, I have um, been able to raise about $1,000 to all the different organizations, and I cut them quarterly checks. So um, what I'm hoping to do is at least double that. Um, and these are all available on my website and all my social media channels. That's the website, coffeerescue.net. All my different socials. I was just told by uh, one of my friends that you have to put your socials on as many 
videos and slides as possible, so I did that. That was her suggestion. And um, basically, that was what I was uh, looking for from this presentation, was to get ideas for more content and to kind of launch my Coffees for a Cause and get the name and the word out. 